As a business owner and course creator, you have so much content to create all the time from blog posts, emails, social media posts, not to mention sales pages and all of that other stuff. I totally get it. And in an ideal world, we could either clone ourselves or hire someone else to do this for us. But at the end of the day, we may or may not be able to afford that and we don't quite have the technology to clone ourselves. I'm Natalie Lucier, founder of Access Ally, which is a WordPress-based solution for creating online courses, memberships, and communities in the most flexible and beautiful way possible. And I love geeking out on all kinds of tech tools. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about Jasper AI, which is an AI, artificial intelligence writing tool. I've personally found Jasper to be an invaluable tool in running my online business with a few warnings, and I'll show you what I mean when we get to the tutorial part of this video. So first of all, what is Jasper and how does Jasper AI work in the first place? So Jasper is one of many types of content creation tools that help you write original content by really scouring all kinds of input from the web and all kinds of other places to then generate content. It uses a linguistic model called GPT-3, which means generative pre-trained model. And what that means is it takes in all of this data and all of this other text, and then when you give it an input or a prompt, it will write something based on what it's read in the past. Now you might be thinking, oh no, I'm gonna end up with a ton of plagiarized content, but it does generate original content. And I use quotes for that because there are some times where it doesn't really feel original, but it is actually writing things from scratch all the time. And so it uses this linguistic model to write brand new sentences that make sense based on the prompt that you gave it. That being said, the ideas that Jasper AI comes up with have to come from somewhere and these have to come from you. So the way I like to use Jasper is really as a way to write write a shitty first draft because here's the thing, you need to be the one to give it the guidance and the direction and you also need to be the one to edit heavily once the text comes back and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So here's why I like Jasper AI and why I still use it in my business. Jasper has a lot of different types of recipes that helps you come up with content or even ideas for stuff inside of your business. So my favorite one is the problem agitate solution. So I use the PAS framework quite a lot in my business. I use it to generate video descriptions like for the video here that you'll see. I use it to write intros for blog posts and even sometimes social media posts too. The other thing I like about Jasper AI is its boss mode. So this is basically you programming through Jasper and I'll show you some examples soon But what that just means is that you give Jasper an exact description of what you're looking for like hey Jasper write a story about how someone um, Fell out of a boat and got back out and everything was fine completely random, but Jasper can come up with something based on that prompt. Now, the reason I'm such a fan of boss mode is because I've been using Jasper for quite a while. And in the first version of Jasper, you had to just write some sentences and then hit go and hope that the AI tool kept going in the right direction. And a lot of times it didn't. So that meant you had to rewrite or reroute Jasper to write the right thing. Another thing I like about Jasper AI is that you can choose the tone that it will write in. So you can make it say funny things or more serious or professional note, or you can could even use a voice of an author that you like and it will try to mimic that type of voice. And finally, the reason that I love Jasper the most is really that it's great for jogging your memory or getting the creativity flowing when you're working on a really big project like a book or a massive blog post. And that's because it can really get you going. You can put in your topic, some ideas that you have, and it will kind of flesh them out for you or give you other topics that are related to it. And so that means you're never stuck staring at a blank page. Now, if this is sounding pretty good, check out my link below to get started with Jasper AI. But now let's talk about the downsides of Jasper too, because there definitely are some. The biggest issue for me with Jasper is that nothing is fact checked and you definitely have to double check what comes back from Jasper. You might get completely false information and things that just don't make sense back from the machine. Another thing I don't like about Jasper is that it sometimes pulls content and names of your competitor right into your content. So this happens sometimes with Access Ally. We, obviously we are in the online course space and membership space. So sometimes I'll get back a paragraph from Jasper that's basically talking about our competitors and how they're awesome. And so obviously I have to delete some of that and improve that. Another downside is that sometimes it does take some trial and error to get Jasper to really generate the type of text that you really need. And so that means you burn through your words that you have allocated to your account 
quite quickly. And it really does get easier with time and I'll get right into the tutorial now so you can learn how to use Jasper the right way. Before we dive into the tutorial, I would just want to show you quickly Jasper's pricing model. And obviously this is subject to change, but the version I'm going to show you is actually boss mode. And it is based on how many words you plan to have Jasper generate for you. So it might go up. I have the basic 59 a month plan. Um, if you were to go with starter, you can also go a little bit lower and get more words if that matters more to you. But boss mode is actually something that I think is worth the investment. So if you're going to use it, then I think boss mode is probably the way to go. So here we are in the Jasper dashboard. So where you can go to get started are templates. So this is what I use quite a bit. Uh, so PAS framework is the one I was talking about. So I'll show you how I tend to use it. So here under problem agitate solution, I'm actually going to use Jasper to generate the video description for this video, which I realize is very meta, but here we go under company and product name, instead of using like my name of access ally or Natalie Lucier, I'm just going to put Jasper AI review video because that's what I want this to generate. And then for my product description, I just put in that in this video, you'll find out what I like about using Jasper and what I don't like about it. And then tone of voice, this is where I can choose for it to be funny or not. So I'm actually going to generate three so you can decide how many outputs you want. So I'm going to go ahead and let it generate three outputs with the tone of voice funny. And then I'm going to try it with a different tone of voice. So let's try professional and then we'll compare those to just see, you know, what Jasper can generate between the two. So the first one that is under professional is you may be wondering if Jasper AI is worth the investment in this video. I'll share with you what I like about Jasper after watching this video, I'll have a good idea of whether, whether or not you should add it to your toolbox. So this definitely mimics what I wrote here. And as you can tell, it didn't generate a ton more content, but the second one here is a little bit longer and might be more useful. So as an online marketer, you're always looking for new and better ways to improve your business. You know that video is a powerful marketing tool, but creating videos can be time consuming. Um, so it's interesting because this one took the video angle <laughs> as opposed to um, necessarily the writing angle, but that's okay. That's why we generate a couple of outputs. So in, if one goes off the rails or doesn't quite make sense, this one might. So it can be tough to make a decision about whether or not to add a new tool to your online business toolbox. Uh, it's one of those tools that can have a big impact on your business and you'll learn about the features and how it works. Yeah, I kind of like this one a lot. So now here, these are the first three that were funny. And sometimes it may be more funny than other times. So we'll see if it actually delivers on that. Um, so this one here, you're probably thinking, do I really need another tool to help me with my online business? And the answer is yes. Um, and this one again is a lot more like that first one. Let's take a look here. It can be tough to know if a new tool is worth trying, especially if you're not sure what it does and how it works. Actually, this one's quite good. Um, and it goes into, you know, in this video, uh, Jasper it helped me increase my online traffic, automating the process of creating review videos for my products. So this part I would have to rewrite because that's actually not true. So this is one of the downsides, like I said, of Jasper, where sometimes it will generate something that it took from somewhere else that doesn't actually relate to your particular use case or business, but you can see these are pretty good. So what you can do here is you can open it in documents to flesh it out more. You can copy it to clipboard, or you can just add it to your favorites. So what I tend to do is just copy the clipboard, put it in another document or, you know, in my YouTube description or whatnot. And then I would just remove problem agitate solution because obviously we don't want people to know we used a template for this, but definitely the PAS framework is one of the ones I use the most. So you can see also how often they're updating and adding new ways of using Jasper. So uh, another one that I really like is explain it to a child. So here we have your input text. So I'm using the example of a database to store information about your customers in a customer relationship management system. And we're going to try three outputs again. We'll see what comes back. Yeah. So this is pretty good. You know, it kind of gives you a little bit of a rewrite of what I put in here. Like it just kind of helps you reframe things sometimes. And I think sometimes we need that when uh, we're writing or if we're not quite sure how to explain something that can really help as well. Um, so you can also do a blog post intro paragraph, a conclusion inclusion paragraph, a uh, sentence expander. So this is great if you're trying to get more words out and you've already said certain things a certain way, you can paste a sentence here and basically Jasper will expand from there. 
So here I put the key to creating a great online course is to figure out what people want. Professional is my tone of voice. And then let's see how they expand that. Yeah, so this is a great sentence. Master the art of creating extraordinary online courses by getting to the heart of what your learners want. Start by identifying the desired outcome of the course. Once you know what people want, you can begin to sketch out a plan that will engage and motivate them. You can see this is actually very, very good content right here that you could definitely grab and put into a blog post or pretty much anything. So this is great. I highly recommend if you decide to sign up for Jasper that you just take a look at some of these and just go through them. There's just so many ways that you can take an idea and have Jasper really help you expand on it or flesh it out or just make it better. So this is, and you'll see we've got TikTok captions, we've got all kinds of stuff that keeps getting added in here. So this is great. Now, that being said, um, recipes is another area that I think is awesome right now. And you can create new recipes, you can get recipes from other people. So you can see there's one for the rapid book outline method um, and increasing Facebook engagement. So I'm gonna take a look at this one. So basically, this is something that someone else created using Jasper as a template. So there's a YouTube explainer video and it walks you through how to use this recipe. So I have not used this particular one quite a bit, but basically what you do is you start with a story that you've written yourself. And then this basically just gives Jasper an idea of like the vibe, your writing style. And then these are the commands that you run. So essentially you will click these and get them to generate an uplifting message, talking to a specific audience. So you would replace this part with you know say online course creators or dog owners or something like that and then who are consequence you know maybe um staying up late at night because they don't have time to work on their course or training a puppy for the first time something like that and so jasper will generate these for you so this is a great way to get a ton of ideas for your social posts and get some of the content going too now the other thing i think is really really important is documents. So this is great because you can create all kinds of co content that are long form. So here I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch, but you can also use this for the blog post workflow. And I think both of them are awesome, but starting from scratch basically means that you end up with a document that you can title. So I went ahead and named this how to train a puppy. Now this is where the description of what you want to write about becomes super important because this tells Jasper what this document is about, what the focus is, and it will really hone in on what it will generate for you. Again, you've got tone of voice and then for search engine marketing purposes, if you want to include keywords, you can put those in here, which again will guide Jasper. So in your content description, you want to tell Jasper what this is. So is it a book? Is it a product description? Is is it a blog post? Is it a page on your website? Is it a sales page? All of these things you can put in this description and then just put the gist of what you want to cover. I went ahead and filled this out. I don't really know much about potty training a puppy, so this is gonna be all on Jasper. But you can see you have all of the usual type of formatting up here, so you can just say, you know, so you can have your header and your subheaders, but I think at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and let Jasper take it from here to see what comes out. So you can see here, you can choose to have Jasper just create a short piece of text, medium or long. I like to go long just because I don't really want to take too much uh, time. So you can see this is Jasper in action right now, generating things. And it's really using what I started with here. So it's using the three steps. Um, so it seems like it, it makes sense to put that in the title. So we'll go ahead and keep that. And then you can see what it says, set expectations. Let your puppy know where it is okay to go to the bathroom and where it is not. This may seem, uh, this may mean setting up designated area in your yard or taking your puppy on regular trips to the park. Either way, be consistent with where you take your puppy to do its business. Give treats for good behavior um, and then reinforce potty training. Even after your puppy has gotten the hang of things, it is important. So basically what you would wanna do here is finish this sentence and then hit the compose button again so as you can see it wrote some stuff it actually kind of makes sense which is amazing and at the same time it is nothing earth-shattering so what you'll want to do as the creator of your content is really come in 
add a little bit more meat around the bones or maybe more bones <laughs> around the meat. Uh, so basically make sure that the structure makes sense, make sure that everything is a fact or verifiable, and then also just write more and give Jasper a little bit more direction. Now, the other thing I want to show you is boss mode. So this is something that I personally find super cool because it's like programming through AI. So what you want to do is have this little um, bracket here and then tell Jasper what to do. So I'm going to say, write a story about someone who never potty trained their dog and the uh, nightmare that it is. Okay, so then what I do is I just highlight this and then I, I go ahead and click the command and enter on my computer. So this basically just gets the things going. So as you can see, the puppy, uh, basically this is the story. So maybe to make this make sense, I would say story time. Um, and okay, this is the story of John who had a puppy that never got potty trained. And maybe this is kind of the intro story that we could start with for this blog post that is obviously hypothetical. But so it goes with the puppy had always been a bit of a challenge. Even from the day it was brought home, its owners could tell that it was going to be a handful. The puppy never seemed to quite understand where it was supposed to go potty, would often have accidents all over the house. This created a lot of frustration for everyone. And soon enough, the puppy was simply being ignored altogether. Months passed by um, and oh gosh, it kind of goes, the smell of urine became a permanent fixture. Finally, after years of living with this puppy, its owners decided to give it up and take it to the animal shelter. Okay, so this obviously went a little bit darker than I expected, but you can see that this actually makes sense with the command that I gave it because I told it to go ahead and write a story, which definitely this is. Um, so yeah, this is basically how you can get some really good, more specific direction for Jasper so that it actually writes the thing that you want it to write and not just um, kind of goes off of what's in the content brief. Although this is also very important, um, at least with the commands, you can kind of guide it a little bit better. So let's try one more. So here I put the command as write a conclusion paragraph that gives people inspiration to start potty training their puppy right away. So again, I'm gonna hit the command enter on my computer and it says, even if your puppy is having a hard time understanding where to go potty, don't give up. With patience and consistency, you can get them trained in no time. Following these three easy steps should help make the process smoother for you and your puppy. Good luck. That's a great closing paragraph. I think, you know, this is where Jasper comes in. If you've spent a lot of time slaving over your words, maybe you put in a lot of effort and mental energy creating a great post and then you're just out of fumes you can come into jasper and give it a couple commands and then boom you have something to keep you going and you don't have to spend so much time on all the kind of beginning middle and end that may or may not have to be written by you now that being said you definitely want to come back in and edit this is kind of my biggest pet peeve with anyone who's thinking of using jasper ai you have to be the one to come in make sure it makes sense edit it to make sure it's still on brand for you uh, and that it really lines up with the things that you want to share so those are the big things and big takeaways that i want you to have for jasper so you can see there's, you can see all of your outputs, you can see your dashboard, you can see how many words you're using and most of your uh, credits here, you'll see how many credits you have available. So make sure that you kind of keep that in mind with how often you plan to use it as well. The other cool thing with Jasper is that you can use it to write in other languages. So I have not played around with this a whole lot, but I think it's so cool that you can switch it out to different languages. I think it currently provides support for 25 different languages. And so you can go ahead and play with this and just use it to internationalize your content or just write in other languages if you're familiar with them. And that gives you just such an opening too. So hopefully this helped you decide if Jasper AI is a tool that you wanna to add to your tech stack or not. Make sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you like about Jasper or what you don't like about it. And also, if you wanna go in a completely different direction and you don't wanna use AI, which I think is also totally valid, is to take a look at my review of the Free Write Traveler, which is all about eliminating distractions so you, as the human, can write a lot more words yourself.